Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, very excited. Some new Aliens action figures. Haven't seen a lot of those recently, right? There's some uh, the 40th anniversary last year and whatnot, but these are very Kenner-ish to me. Of course, these are based off of Aliens Fireteam Elite, brand new video game that hit about a year ago, the Runner, Spitter, Burster, and Prowler Aliens. And like I said, when you see aliens like this that are more or less colorful, we'll just say, you know, maybe they got some different parts and pieces. They're not your usual xenomorphs. Yes, my nostalgia -a meter will go right towards Kenner of the 90s. And here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures. Special shout out to Stefan Falkins. Pleasure meeting you at Comic-Con. Awesome panel, by the way. Thanks so much. Here's the barcode for this guy. And of course, there is also the Burster alien. And like I said, when we look at these up close, you'll see what I mean. Very Kenner-ish. Very much taking the dog alien, right, from, let's say, Alien 3, or you could say the bull alien, you know, either one. The runner's aliens, right? The ones on all fours, however you want to call it. But uh, adding, subtracting, putting uh, different parts and pieces, grossness every which way. And that's right up my alley for changing up aliens. Aliens, very one note after a while, but uh, it's a great way to change it up. And I really wish, I have to say that I could play the video game. I have the Nintendo Switch. I really wish it was on there. I would definitely give it a go. If it's not a Mario game or, we'll say, most recently, a Ninja Turtle game, it's really all I ever play. I don't have a lot of time to play video games like I did when I was a kid, but from these screenshots and, of course, watching reviews and watching people play it, living vicariously through YouTube videos, I mean, the game looks pretty cool. And one of these days... I will actually try it. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Make sure it's not a cup of acidic blood, right? You don't want it eating through the hall. This is a look at the brand new Aliens Fire Team Elite, all four for wave one from NECA Toys. And while I got all you HR Geigers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, Daily News Updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, in kind of kicking it off, here's all four out of the packaging. No accessories for these guys, but we'll start with the Prowler Alien. And like I said, it's basically the dog alien. You get them on all fours, right? It's very much that crawler, creepy alien. This one's got a lot of red going on. It's very demonic, very sinister looking. I like the red. I don't necessarily think like, oh, he's covered in blood. It's not one of those... It's a very cool paint job. Gives it a little bit of a difference to a lot of aliens we have on our shelves. Not a whole lot of difference. Keep that in mind as I, as I keep talking about these. But there's enough there if you are a huge Aliens fan that these will most likely be up your alley. Or if you're a fan of the Elite video game. These are video game aliens, so that's cool. A lot of great sculpture going on. New head. Now, these will share parts and pieces amidst all four. It's... Again, to say that this is the runner alien. He's got all that articulation. He's got a really cool bendy wire tail with a knife end to it. That's very cool. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you. If you don't have the nostalgia, if you're not an Aliens fan, if you're trying to get into Aliens, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the good jumping off point. These are just okay. There are ones that are better than others. This guy's got a great paint job. But he's basically the dog alien, we'll just say, with a different head sculpt. Much like the runner alien. Now, the runner alien is the most alienish, most classic xenomorphish of the four of these figures. He's got the dome. He's got the jaw. One thing to point out, in a kind of QC issue with a lot of these, we'll just say with this one and then the prior one we just saw, the jaw, instead of dropping all the way down, will drop off to the left or the right. The little mini mouth only comes out so far. These are just okay, and I can't stress that enough. Not to say that they're not good Aliens figures. Of course, they're sweet. They're cool. They got the whole Aliens thing going on, right? You get the idea. There's not much more to it than that. But NECA has done so many much cooler Aliens, we'll just say, right? From the Snake Alien to the Mantis Alien. Even, you know, going off of the old Kenner stuff, this one is largely just like, okay. And as you can see, yes, they all kind of share the same here and there, different torsos, different heads, different parts and pieces to make up different xenomorphs. Now, I will tell you that, having said all that with the prior two, the Burster Alien 
has a bit more going on for it and one that really changes it up. It's a bit of a mantis alien touch, which I really like. Really cool glowing green photos. Look at the face on there. Now that is an HR Giger design, right? That is awesome. This one, I have a bit of a trouble with the mouth. The mouth wants to just kind of stop, but the mini mouth kind of sort of, you, you'll figure it out, right? It's not as easy peasy. It doesn't slide all the way out, but it's kind of difficult in some instances. But I really like the way this is painted. I love the different boils and the green ooze pus, whatever is on his head. It's really cool. It's what really differentiates where the prior two are kind of the same. This one at least has more going on for it. It's got the same bendy wire tail. Yes, it's the dog alien with green spores all over him, but he just has a little extra oomph that the other two are lacking. But the spitter alien, this one to me, like I said, very Deacon from Prometheus, right? He's got that really cool, we'll say cone head for lack of a better term, right? It goes off into a point. I love all the different spikes on this guy. The paint job is by far the best. He's very just, it's Lovecraftian in its design. And it's very cool. This one is my favorite of all the ones I'm going to tell you. The other ones might be clearance items. You know what I mean? If you're not a big, huge fan. But if you can find this one, this one I definitely recommend. I just love the way that this thing looks. This thing is totally different looking. It's got a whole different set of just awesomeness to it that not very many aliens on my shelf have. So in that sense, I definitely dig it. I like his neck. He's got a big, thick neck. And you can see how they all sort of differentiate between one another. Yes, they are all roughly the same sort of runner-type dog alien. But this one in particular really stands out and will stand out on the rest of your alien shelf. Now, for me, in kind of going along the Kenner lines, which this is where I really fall. You can see the scaleture. You can see that Ripley and Apone, they will definitely fit in with these. They're a little bit smaller. They're that dog alien size, but they do have that Kenner nostalgia, which for some, much like me, you'll go, oh yeah, heck yeah, all the way. But again, I'm going to tell you, these might be largely a pass. These might be largely a clearance item, except for a few. The green ones, all the way. I'm just going to call them that from now on. The red one is cool, but he's not as cool. But when you have them all together, they're sinister, they're creepy, they're weird. And they do make for some fun shelf candy, I will tell you that. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new wave of Aliens Fire Team Elite by NECA Toys. And again, thank you to NECA for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Aliens. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep bringing out the weirdo aliens. If you haven't seen the new Predator movie, Prey on Hulu, I like what they did there. And I hope that it kind of folds more into the alien franchise this time around. Go weird, go creepy, use different animals, whatnot. These ones are, they're there. But I would say that I would like to see more in due time. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>